Netflix. Boy, do they have a tall order ahead of them with this one. In the last video I made, I talked about the many issues that befall live-action anime adaptations, and of course, I had to talk about Netflix's contribution to those. And now, Netflix is back at the helm of not just any series, they're tackling One Piece. Now, if you ask anyone, One Piece is always a series that people thought would be unadaptable. I mean, how could you? You have characters that range from this to this. It is certainly very, very difficult, and do I think they could pull it off? Well, no. But I'm gonna delve a bit deeper into this and not write it off entirely. Netflix wanted to beat the low budget allegations because they're dropping big money on this adaptation. Dropping 18 million dollars per episode on this which is $3 million more than what Game of Thrones was putting out for their episodes. And if you ever saw Game of Thrones, you know how that show looked amazing. And with this, it's supposed to be 8 episodes long for the first season. And for the cast, they have a lot of lesser known actors to play these characters. Which is nice, because I'm sure people will get thrown off seeing Scarlett Johansson play Nami. The cast 100% looks the part, even though Taz Skyler is looking like 2003's Eminem. But even still, the cast looks like the characters, so that's a plus. Even if this adaptation received a low budget, low budget films and shows can work. The first Deadpool movie had a budget of $58 million, and while that seems a lot as it is, it's low budget in comparison to the average superhero film that's in the $200 million range. And you can tell with Deadpool because the majority of the film takes place on a single highway, but this isn't a negative in the slightest. This is just the filmmakers making do with what they have, and that's what great filmmakers are supposed to do. They know how to work around these things. In One Piece's case, it at least looks like there's some charm here with the trailer, and the cast seem to really be loving and enjoying their roles. I noticed that they have certain fights in a much darker background which can help mask any dodgy CG in parts, which is a good workaround because best believe, people will be on the lookout for that sort of thing. Netflix dropped a second trailer for One Piece that makes it look a hell of a lot better than the first one because... People lit that one up. What the hell? Luffy sounded like an anime character instead of a human being, which is an issue that happens in a large amount of adaptations. With this, they can sort of get away with this seeing as everyone else, not Luffy, sounds fine. And even he sounds better in the new trailer. The CG looks good in certain parts. I know when Luffy was hitting Arlong with a gum gum attack, they looked a little jank, but not as ghetto as it could have been. Oda is personally involved with the production of the live action. He said in an interview that he wants things to seem natural for live action than to trying to be like an anime. He even requested reshoots of scenes because he felt it wasn't up to a standard that the masses should see. He's even said that the people on the production of the adaptation are big One Piece fans, so while that has made some people breathe a sigh of relief, for the majority, this isn't out of the woods yet. Now what are my thoughts on this? It doesn't look bad. Now am I going into this with high expectations? No. Am I going into this expecting it to be great or good? No. Would I love to be proven wrong? Absolutely. Like I said in the previous video, I 100% believe there will be a time when live action anime can be good. Majority of them at least. It just depends on who's behind them and if they care about the IP as much. Now I am a huge One Piece fan. I own every single volume of the manga. I've been watching it as a kid, fell out of it, and then got back into it over the years and it's a journey well worth the experience. This at least looks like there's more care put into it than the vast majority of adaptations. There are things in place that shouldn't make us seethe, and I know people have seen the second trailer and still aren't sold and that's fine. Live action adaptations and weaves are in this abusive relationship almost. There's been some good times, hell, even great times, but most of the time is nothing but lost hope and broken dreams. And for anyone that says this live action ruins One Piece, it doesn't. You still have the anime and you for sure have the manga. That was always a thing I never understood when these come out. Just because the live action is dog water doesn't erode the source that it came from. I don't know if One Piece will be the one to be able to turn the tide on bad adaptations, especially for Netflix's sake, but I'll be watching. So about that live-action high school DXD. 